everyone and welcome to the bonus lecture of section 10 how to use index match to run multiple scenarios when we conduct a DCF analysis we make a lot of assumptions if you remember we spent an entire lecture in this section to make the assumptions for the DCF analysis of Starbucks Corporation the assumptions are critical because well our valuation is pretty much based on these assumptions and of course the assumptions may differ greatly depending on who is making them so the target company and obviously the sell side advisors are likely to be uh, more optimistic about the key assumptions of the financial model while potential investors buyers and of course the buy side m a advisors are tend to be more cautious or conservative that is why when building a financial model it is good to have different assumptions for different scenarios such as the conservative case the base case and the best case giving the financial model the flexibility over key underlying assumptions are extremely useful to see the effect of these assumptions on targets valuation and one of the best ways to do that is to use the powerful index match formula to run multiple scenarios as it's stated in the title of our lecture bonus lecture here because um, we don't want to build where this idea comes comes from because we don't want to build three different models for three different scenarios that would take a lot of time and effort we already covered the index and match formulas in section 4, Excel for m and analysts. If I remember correctly at lecture 34, database formulas. Although the index and match formulas are very useful separately, they become really powerful when used together, of course, correctly. All right, um, now we are looking at a sold version. Um, as you can see here, I have manage scenarios part. Let's go over this um, Excel sheet and then we are going to build one and learn how to create um, multiple scenarios using index match formula. Here we have the manage scenario section. As you can see here, we have the um, select case option and here we have a drop down menu. We have the worst case, base case and best case. Here we have our assumptions, the key assumptions like we had in our um, this financial model for Starbucks Corporation. We have the revenue growth assumptions and we have the cost of goods sold margin assumptions. These are input cells. They are shown in blue color. Here we have the um, so-called income statement here at the top of the income statement actually. So we have the revenue line and we have the COX line and we have the gross profit line. So as you can see here, currently the worst case scenario is selected and I have total revenues of $17.7 um, .7 billion um, dollars and gross profit of $10.8 billion. This is the worst case scenario. So um, we are using these values. So how to switch them? It's super easy. All you need to do is come here, come over here, click this um, drop down menu and select base case. Whoops. Now we have 20 billion, 19.6 billion of revenues and 12.5 billion of gross profit. What about the best case? Whoop. We have 21.7 billion revenues and 14.5 uh, billion dollars of gross profit. So um, these are really um, different numbers. So um, this here, the scenario management, management um, shows us how these assumptions affect the valuation. So let's move here. I have um, a blank one. I have my key inputs plugged in, but I, have, uh, I haven't built a scenario case yet, the index match formula. So we're gonna do it together now um, to run multiple scenarios in our financial model. All right, where do we start? We start from here, the man manage scenarios case. So in this case, we need this drop down menu here. How do we create this one? Well, obviously we need this inputs and we need this drop down function. We create this one from the data section. Here at the upper ribbon between formulas and review, 
you have the data option here. If you select data, you only need to do is come to um, data validation, data validation, and here we have a data validation pop-up window. From this allow selection, we need to select list because we want to make a drop-down list. And here, as you can see here, it asks for the source. So what values should it use? Which cells should it use for the drop-down selections? And you can use actually either of these or either of these ones. So I'm going to use this one, for instance. And when I click OK, you see here, Excel created the drop-down function. And when I click it, I have the drop-down menu. Worst case, base case, and the best case as written here because this is linked to here, this is the source. If you delete this, you shouldn't delete this, this will be gone, all right? Let's see it the worst case, as you can see here, base case and the best case. But if you delete this, then you see nothing here. Okay, all right? So now we have our um, selections ready. Now the next step is how to create, how to make Excel, our financial model, change these values when we change this scenario case. So that is where we are going to use the powerful index match formula. Now I'm going to type it here. I want you to follow it. Well, first, I want to show you here first. Come over here. We come over here to growth rate. As you can see here, index match formula uses three things uses the managed scenario, the selected case. It uses the underlying assumptions related to each one of these case. All right, and using their source as well. So now we are gonna move here and we are going to create it. All right, let's um, start typing our formula and we are going to start with index function. So when we type index, as you can see here, first we need to create an array. Um, think of it as a library of our assumptions, the main assumptions. So we need to select for this array case, we need to select the underlying assumptions. In this case, the revenue growth assumptions for 2017. And I want this to be um, variable, variable. So when I um, copy and paste this formula in the next cells here on the right hand side, I want them to shift accordingly. So I will leave it like this. Now we need to type match. And here, as you can see, we need a lookup value so that we would check um, which one of these assumptions should be used um, depending on this lookup value, the selected scenario case. In this case, we are going to use this cell. And currently it is selected as the best case. And we need to lock this one because we always want to use this. If we copy and paste the formula, otherwise it's going to move to the empty cell, the selection. All right, now as we selected our lookup value, the scenario, now we need to check, uh, we need to create another array to um, when we select this case, the scenario, we now, then the Excel is going to check which one of these values are related to these assumption cases. So this is where we create our um, library and we need to lock this one. And lastly, we need to, we want to get an exact match. So we type zero and we close the parenthesis. And if you click enter, we'll get 5%, which is the best case growth rate. As you can see here, because the best case is selected. And now I'm going to copy this formula for the following cells. And as you can see here, um, how index match works, when we um, enter the formula, it goes and checks first the selected scenario case, which is best case. It um, goes over here, finds the best case, the matching one, and gets the value related to that case, the assumption case, which is in this case 5%. So it is actually quite simple. Let's see what happens when we select worst case. As you can see here, we get 1% growth rate. Again, Excel goes to cell and because worst case is selected, it checks which the worst case here, finds it, and then takes the figure related to worst case. All right, now let's do the same thing for the Cox margin. 
index. So our index in this case is here, the cost of goods sold assumptions, underlying assumptions. We type match. We need to look up value. The scenario here, we want to, we want to lock it. And then we create our library for the Cox assumptions and we lock them again and we type zero to get an exact value and boom now we have 40 percent because it's the worst case the highest cox margin which means the lowest cross profit margin and we drag this and as you can see here we now created a full um, worksheet 17.7 billion dollars of revenues and 10.8 billion dollars of gross profit at the worst case if we select the base case now all these cells will check the base case scenarios and get the relevant figures and our revenue jumps and if we select the best case you can see here our revenues and gross profit just skyrocketed compared to the worst case so this is how you create a multiple run multiple scenarios using index match formula guys all right um um now we are done with this section uh for sure and now we are going to move to um, section 11 dcf analysis i see you guys in the next section